So now we're in a different room, um, same building, just a different space. Uh, this has a lot more corners and edges to it. Uh, we're going to use this to show the next feature, which is the smart room. Um, going into that, this is essentially going to create a layout for you without you having to touch the screen. Uh, you're just going to hit measurements with the laser distance um, meter, and then it's going to create that layout based on what you give it. All right, it is, what is it doing? Okay, yeah, so it started, it's waiting for me to take my first measurement. All right, so what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna start in this corner right here, is we're just gonna measure from this wall down to that side, and what you're, we're gonna be doing with this feature, and I'm gonna take this first measurement before I explain a little bit more. All right, capture. No, that is not three feet. Let's redo that. I'm gonna hit the trash can because that did not measure all the way down. And the way I can tell it's measuring is by the laser dot at the other end. There we go, 16.5, that's correct. All right, so I got my first measurement. I'm starting from this point here. Um, using smart room feature, you're, I'm gonna be taking measurements clockwise or counterclockwise. You can choose whichever you prefer, uh, but you just have to keep going in the same direction once you make your decision. So now I'm gonna measure from here, measuring that wall. Since that wall is the same distance as where I am here now, I'm going to just, and if you wanted to make sure, you know, in case you thought it was bowed or, you know, different, uh, you could go down to the other end and take that measurement, uh, but I know that this is the same, so I'm going to measure just right here. All right, so now that is 13.5, and that is measuring from that wall to that wall. Now, we're measuring this far side wall, since again, we're going around this way. And in this case, I'm going to come over to this corner. Right, put this here. Make sure the laser's on the other wall, and hit capture. All right. And so what, uh, if we show the screen real quick of what's happening on the device, it's just going, it's counting, one, two, three, and it's collecting these points as I'm measuring them. All right. So this next one, since you see we come down this way, and now we're measuring just here. If I put it on this wall and measure that way, it's gonna hit all the way over there. But since we're still going clockwise, I can still do this. Measure it from here, going to that wall. I'm going to pull it a little bit away from the wall because it's not flush. Hit capture. Okay. And now it's going to identify that as this measurement here. Continuing this way, measuring this corner here. I've got to move the chair. I just put this on the edge like I did before. Capture this edge. Perfect. All right, now we're going all the way down to this little alcove over here in the corner. And we're putting it on the wall. It's going to go all the way down. I'm looking all the way over there to make sure the point is correct. I hit capture. 14 feet. All right. And now to almost finish it off, since that is the same, I don't need to you know, put myself all the way in that corner. I will just use this spot right here. And it's hitting that point there. Make sure this is flush with the wall. Capture, 4.4. All right, and the last one, since we're back at our point here, the last thing we need to measure is from here to this side. And I don't want to go inside the closet. I'm going to ignore that for now. So I'm going to put this here, and I'm holding it away from the wall just enough so it doesn't get caught on this frame, because that's sticking out a little bit. But I see that it's hitting over there. So I like that measurement. I'm going to capture that. Perfect. All right. And now we've measured all of the walls going clockwise. Now we simply just hit finish, and boom. As you can see, now looking at the screen, um, it has measured the layout of that, and that is uh, nearly perfect. And so now you have that layout, and just as we showed in the previous um, feature highlight, uh, you can go around and add the windows and doors. There are no windows here, so it would just be doors or openings, doorways, um, or even closets if you wanted to use those as a means of creating the doors. Um, and then you can create this. And again, if you hit 3D, simply take this and yep, I want to measure the height. Put it on the floor. Make sure the screen is captured in the right spot. Capture that. 9.1, confirm. Perfect, there you go. You got your 3D image of this room and you didn't have to tap the screen, no clicks. It's just constantly you know, clicking capture, capture, capture for each point and then it renders that 3D or two dimensional layout for you. All right, there's a few more things to show you and then we'll have covered the main features of BLK3D.